What up, brother? What's going on, bud? What up, man? Are you ready to get it done, man? Yeah. What, about, what are we about to do to it? I'm about to see. About to slam it, wrap it. See what else happens when I'm gone. Yo, what is up guys? We're gonna do a full disassembly day. We have like the best disassembler known to the all creation and <laughs> man. So over there my boy Mitch. He's over there being a creeper. Uh, he paid me to say all that stuff. I'm just kidding. Yeah, he's pretty dope. First step is to take the antenna off and it seems like Mitch is already on it. Why not? I'm bored. Probably the car ride back. Yeah. Right. So we are going to be removing the bed. Normally what we do is we don't pull it off all the way. Um, what we'll do is remove all the bolts and slide it back to allow one of the installers to get back there and wrap that. It's all pretty straightforward. Hopefully this truck keeps running along as smooth as it is. We're just gonna keep going and we'll give you another update. Ooh, almost got him. So happy I tilted my head back there. You're an editor. Make it happen. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm keeping raw. Ooh. The asshole Mitchie's out. Yeah, go ahead, keep going. Okay, well they don't know what I've been dealing with all day, so. It's not me. No, you're right. I've only been dealing with you for 20 minutes, and I'm sick of you. I'm just kidding, right? cloud of alcohol just raining down on my face. As you guys can see, I do have a couple panels already wrapped up on this truck itself. We have the hood done, fender done, and we have a door done. So I'm gonna just be focusing on pretty much this whole side. We're gonna wanna go ahead and do the whole cab before we start focusing on any other parts of the truck. But we're just gonna start working and... Hi. Did you hear me in the background? I was kind of ruining your intro. No, I didn't hear you. I just came in and ruined your intro now. All right, guys, wrapping a truck, totally different than wrapping a car. Uh, one of the things that we always emphasize when we wrap, when we're wrapping trucks, it take a little bit more time because there's things that we have to do. Taking this bed off is no exception. We definitely want to remove that. We'll show you the process. So the whole purpose of what we just did here was to get that wrap behind there. And you know what's crazy? is if you think about it, the OEM manufacturer didn't even really paint too heavily back there. So the fact is we're going in and wrapping probably even further than they painted. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, just gonna wrap this whole back panel here. What that's gonna do is gonna allow for a more consistent flow of the color all the way through. And then we're also gonna be able to wrap all the way into here. As opposed to when the bed was here, you only had limited access. We'd be wrapping here, and then we'd have to cut a line with knife and tape. And it's just not gonna look good, so what we're gonna do is go all the way through. What's wrong, you hurting? No, I had a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'ma go into this. This is gorilla. I'ma go get the bag. 
prepped it, laid it. One of the biggest things about a truck is, in this case, the truck's black. So we didn't really have to do this, but it's this is just how we do it. So uh, removing the bed and going the extra mile, getting the color change all the way around the cab is super important. This is gonna take time, but in the end, the end result's gonna be really good. So I'll show you guys. If you guys got questions, comment below. All right, so we knocked out the back of the bed. It took about, I don't know, I was in the zone. So to me, like, honestly, it felt like 15 minutes. What do you think? Two hours? Hour? Probably like an hour and a half. Hour and a half, Mitchie, how long was I on this? I don't know, hour and a half. Hour and a half, okay. I lost track of time. I was just doing my thing. It literally felt like 15 minutes. I guess when you're doing something like this and we wanna have a consistent look all the way around the vehicle. So when trucks fully put back together, you're not gonna see any of the existing color of in this case, black, which really isn't a big deal. We could have opted out and not did this because the truck's black. That's not how we wanted to do it. We wanted to go full in and make sure that we did it right. The things that we looked for when we were doing this is making sure that we were laying all these bends, which aren't super aggressive, but there is some bends to it without any tension. So really kind of just setting the material in place. I was using a combination of heat and my hands. I guess the tools that I was used was the gloves, the squeegee, the blade, and the heat gun did all of that. It was fun. It was cool, it was relaxing. I look forward to now the rest of the route because I know once it all comes together, it's just gonna look flawless. Uh, so rules, don't hit the truck. If you hit the truck, you're fired. Um, Good rule, I like that one. Don't pinch these bottom parts because those are visible parts of the body and they're very thin. So those will pinch and go fuck the truck bed. So don't do that. Which parts? Down here at the this bottom corner. The these corner. right here. So, so those have to be lifted over the wheel well. They can't be set on the wheel well. Yep. Got it. And they can't make contact with this. So just got the bed of the truck back on. That's pretty much the last thing left to wrap. We have to wrap these sides of the bed and the tailgate. Uh, as you can see, Daniel already went in, did the back plate there. We wrapped the quarter panels. So we're probably about a couple hours away from finishing the wrap on this thing. Then we have about door handle, stop, please. Door handles and mirrors and stuff to go on and then this truck's done. And then where's it going for that? I don't know, a Twitch. <laughs> To the owner, dummy? <laughs> no, ah, no it doesn't. It goes to get lifted. God, you can so suck.
finally got finished up with the whole tundra like the whole logo itself it's actually indented into the actual truck bed so it's actually kind of hard to make sure that you're getting everything out with no air bubbles anything like that uh, so what you have to make sure you do is you can't just you know push all the air out all at once you have to slowly do it each letter you know one by one sort of and and this like motion of going from the top to the bottom once you finish up and lock everything in there should be no more air left in all of these creases and the indentation of the letters Edwin, look what Edwin did. You did this? You embossed it and you wrapped it? Yep. Got it on film too. You got it on film? I'm proud, dude. I'm proud. Is that the first thing you've wrapped or am I just missing out on all your experiences? Well, he does all the, all the gas caps now. You do all the gas caps now? Dude, Edwin's our official gas cap wrapper now. Look what he did. Fully embossed. Proud. I'm proud, bro. Look Thanks, at the dad. trimming. Thanks, Dad. Look at the trimming. You happy? You happy, son? Oh, wait, no. Johnny did the trimming. But that's tight, dude. Yeah. Good job, Edwin. Okay, very cool. We need to sit down and chat and show you some stuff we can do together. Yo, we're on the phone right now. My girlfriend. Just kidding. Talk to uh, Travis over at TE Motorsports. We're going out to Escondido tomorrow. So I said that it was just going to be you and me, but I don't know. We might take Christian too because I think that you have some stuff to do with on the design side. So we're going to meet with Mr. TJ Hunt himself again tomorrow. Escondido is in San Diego. We're going to be out there. Every time TJ's in our neighborhood, he makes a stop by. Sometimes, TJ, sometimes he's down the street and he doesn't come by, so. Like an AFE? Like yeah, just yeah. like that. But we're gonna go down to his neighborhood. We're gonna say what up. We'll go look at Hunt Quarters, see if we can get a little sneak peek at that. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. TJ and I have talked about doing something big together. And I don't wanna leak too much, but we're gonna do something crazy, something cool. And there's a lot of logistics that we need to figure out. Let's go figure it out tomorrow too. I'm gonna go into this. Wait, hold on. No, rap video, yet. rap video. Oh, bam! Feel good now. We're going up to TE Motorsports in Escondido, California. It's about a two hour drive. So Hefe and I are going to get in. We're going to roll. We're not going to roll together. I'm taking the Titan XD. He's taking Twitch's Tundra. This is all proof, so don't be mad if you guys say, hey, you're driving the customer's truck. He's my boy. He told me to do it. So we're going to drive this thing down to Escondido. It's going to be dropped off at TE Motorsports. They're going to be doing the lowering kit on the vehicle. We all jumped on, we wanted to build this truck together. He had a, a group of sponsors that were gonna sponsor the truck. We were doing some work to it. So we're gonna take it to the next stop, the lowering kit. TE Motorsports is gonna take care of it. They're gonna hook them up with, I believe, a 2-4 drop kit on the time. over to TE Motorsports in Escondido. Uh, it was a far drive for us, but we're here now. Uh, we're gonna find out exactly what they're gonna do to it.
Hey guys, welcome to TE Motorsports. Here in North County, your one-stop shop customization. We got Jeremy Twitch Steinberg's beautiful 2018 Tundra from Toyota Vescondido doing the flip kit with the drop springs in the front, put some wheels and tires on it. Looking forward to get this build done with Twitch. Great guys, got my crew with Landon Brown here, Travis Peterson, we're gonna bang it out. Drop off is done. I'm excited to see it come together because for us, we've already known what we wanted to make happen or what was going to happen throughout the process. And it's just that excitement. Now we're waiting to see it finally done on the ground and deliver it. So let's get on the freeway. Let's go see what TK is up to. How are you, dude? Good, man. Good. First, let's see the building. It's been under construction for the last like month. We just don't got our like floors I don't watch done. Videos I'm day. just saying, like, it's like <laughs> looks great, but it's also like, oh, it looks like shit. But it's also like, no, dude, this it's is a scary, work. Bro. It's a work in progress. So Can we wrap it? I mean, do you want to change the color? Yes, I want to we change do. It. We just didn't know. We just we like do, but literally. I feel like, like we should do something on the counter different because it might get wet. And shit. Yeah. Like it could. We'll but dude, with... we're down. Can we wrap the segment? I think yeah, that, that'd, that'd be a good video. For it. That'd be great, dude. Hell yeah. I look at premium as something that's going to take care of my family as well as your own. You know what I mean? So if we do it, and if it's just a pipe dream right now and it doesn't happen, it's a good conversation. You know? But if it does happen, it has to be done right. You know, because I'm looking at what I have going right now. I can keep going, it'll keep snowballing. It's going to be great. If we do this, it can do great things for both of us. So I'm excited, and I know that I would say, let's do it. But. Yeah, that'd be smart. So let's, let's, smart. Let, let's let the excitement drop and then um, just just know I just got us right on the top. So if Sweet. we want to just need to pull the trigger and consider it done. I gotta carry him. I'm a cool. Mitchell. I'm a cool. Ready for the truck? Yeah. Cool. What you just saw was Caesar from RK Sport. Basically saw that we were working with Twitch on his Tundra and reached out to Twitch and then Twitch reached out to us. What they did was they made a brand new hood for Twitch's truck. You saw that we had already wrapped it, but it's not a big deal. We're gonna get this one wrapped up now. It looks much nicer, a lot more body lines, the vents, everything like that. So it's just a much better hood overall. We're in that final moment. We're getting the last parts put on. It was provided by RK Sport Hood, last minute. So we did wrap the original hood thinking that we were good. And then somebody said, hey, I wanna give you a free hood. So they brought us this hood, we wrapped it today. And I will say, this is a dope ass hood. Fitment for being a aftermarket hood. You always wanna take that in consideration. You're getting an aftermarket part. It's usually not gonna fit like OEM. RK Sport, you guys did a great job. Jeremy's like 15 minutes away, so we really have no time. So we just gotta get it right. So we're gonna do, let's knock it out. This thing is so dope. It's perfect. 
They don't even look like a rabbit. It literally looks like it's been painted. Dude, this hood is sick, huh? Yeah. Dude, it's funny because I texted him last night and I was like, yo, the hood's dope, but I don't know if it's going to work for like right now the way it sits. Because I was thinking once the wheels and everything, the grill gets put on, then it's going to look dope. It looks dope right now, it as does. is. It just looks way meaner with it like that. It does. Bad. So you seen on Instagram, we had it tore apart, dude. We had this the set off. It was super crazy to do that. I like but... how you see no seam lines. Like most cars that are wrapped, you always see like lines. Right, right. Ghetto. <laughs> Ghetto. <laughs> Done right. I think it's sick. Let's go enjoy it. Let's take it outside. Yeah, let's, see, it. let's see outside in the sunlight. Oh, dude, come on. Retake. <laughs> it's about damn time. <laughs>